Good evening, and welcome to the 2023 FCPS Honor Ceremony. I'm Sherry Wilson, Assistant Superintendent of Human Resources, and thank you to the West Springfield High School vocalists. Weren't they fabulous? Tonight, we have over 1,000 people in attendance, all here to celebrate the accomplishments and successes of these outstanding employee finalists. Hopefully, these amazing individuals are already aware that their contributions are making a difference and having an impact on the FCPS community. For most of us, the typical workday is not as glamorous as tonight. You may not be greeted every day with someone wanting to take your photograph, giving you a standing ovation, or inviting you to a VIP reception. You should, but we know that that does not always happen. We hope you revel in tonight's festivities and recognize your celebrity status within our division. This evening, we are shining a very bright light on you and all that you bring to our students families, and staff. As you walk across the stage, we hope you bask in the glory, but also know that you make your schools, offices, and coworkers proud to call you one of their own. With your vision, creativity, and stellar job performance, you are role models that inspire each of us to think bigger, innovate, and be change agents within our own communities. If we do not tell you enough, thank you for making FCPS a place where we want our children to be educated and a place where we all want to come to work. It is all of you leading the way forward for a school division with integrity. Before we move into our awards presentation, I would like to recognize some of the individuals we have with us this evening. Members of our school board, please stand. Thank you for your vision and your leadership and for being here this evening. Also, my colleagues on the leadership team, please stand. Thank you for joining us tonight and for being such strong advocates for our employee recognition programs. You will have an opportunity to meet the school board and leadership team members as they will take turns announcing our finalists and the division award recipients throughout the evening. At this time, let me introduce our superintendent of schools, Dr. Michelle Reed. Good evening, and what an incredible energy in this space this evening with all of this excellence, um, the families, and um, just everyone that's here to support our honorees. So i just love to give our honorees one more big round of applause here this evening. I couldn't be more thrilled to be here and have the opportunity to meet so many of you um, earlier prior to the event and have the opportunity to just uh, get to know you, your families, and uh, get to know a little bit about your work and where you work. So this space is filled with the voices of passion and the hope for the future of our students, and not just our students in general, but each and every one of our students, as that's our commitment here at Fairfax County. You have all impacted their lives in ways that you may never know and ways that will last for generations because we know the work that our educators and support staff in whatever role we have here in the division, that our responsibility is not just for the 13 years we have students with us, but it's for the trajectory of the rest of their lives that we have the responsibility for. And that's an awesome responsibility and this is the best county in this great country for our students to have their lives impacted and be set on that positive trajectory. Each of you have prepared our students for careers that do not yet exist, 
whether you are teaching, supporting instruction, transporting our students, preparing nutritious meals, keeping our buildings safe and clean, supporting all of our central services or providing for the many needs of our students, families, and staff. Together, we have created a collaborative workforce and a safe environment where voices, ideas, and opinions, perhaps even different than your own, can be heard. You truly are bringing excellence, equity, and opportunity to our Fairfax County Public's community. This work matters. It matters deeply. I know some of you have been working here for many, many years, and I've met some family members who've been a generation even ahead of us, but I've also been pleased to learn that many of you have only been in your position for a very few years and are making an immediate difference. A number of you are career switchers or started with Fairfax County as a substitute teacher or substitute employee. Thank you, by the way, for that. And any of you who are out there retired who want to come back, <laughs> check in with us. We are excited to welcome you back into our um, staff family. I, there's some excitement about that, I can tell. Woohoo! Um, I know our current staff and administrators want to give some excited feedback about that, so we would really be thrilled to have you back. One of the positive things about being in a school division this large is there is an abundant opportunity each and every day to grow and learn. I hope that you will share the story of these opportunities and experiences with others and bring them here to us in our world-class public school division, which I believe is the lighthouse division for our country here in Fairfax County Public Schools. Finally, my hope for you is that your passion for this work never diminishes and that you continue always to keep our students at the center of all that we do. Thank you again and congratulations. For many years, Fairfax County Public Schools Honors has been supported by Educate Fairfax, the nonprofit organization established to assist Fairfax County Public Schools in achieving its strategic goals through philanthropic gifts and public-private partnerships. There is much important work going on throughout our county that would not be possible without Educate Fairfax's support. In the 2022-23 school year, Educate Fairfax provided direct grants to 52 teachers and classrooms of $82,000 for projects that showcased work-based learning. They launched a literacy program this past summer in three elementary schools to help prevent summer slide and reading, and they raised an additional $1.1 million this year for other programs and support around the division for students and staff. In April, Educate Fairfax held the second annual Hall of Fame event to recognize outstanding alumni and inducted 12 incredible alumni from around the county and around the country. If any of you were there, it was a really moving evening um, to hear the stories and to a person, each of the 12 thanked an educator or support staff person here in Fairfax County that set them on the trajectory of the lives that they were having at this time. I want to recognize Executive Director Elizabeth Murphy and members of the Educate Fairfax Board of Directors for their service to Fairfax County Public Schools. Thank you. <laughs> Educate Fairfax worked with many business partners to sponsor this evening's festivities. I enjoyed the food um, earlier, and I thankfully am not wearing any of it um, at the moment. Um, let's recognize them now, and if you would please hold your applause until the end. First of all, Apple Federal Credit Union, Cox Business, and Dominion Energy. Cigna, Guernsey, Innova Health System, Kaiser Permanente, and Milestone Towers. Mosley Architects, and Rico USA. Let's give all these sponsors a hand and thank you for your generous support. So we have a fabulous evening ahead of us to celebrate and honor the incredible work that our colleagues have been a part of. So I'll now turn the program back over to Dr. Wilson so we can begin the awards presentation as I know the suspense is mounting. So Dr. Wilson.
Thank you, Dr. Reed, for those inspiring remarks and your leadership and commitment to employee recognition. Before we announce our awards this year, I would like to tell you a bit more about our outstanding employee award nomination and selection process. Starting at the local level, nominations can come from parents, students, or colleagues. Each individual school then evaluates nominees and selects award recipients for their site. These school award recipients are considered by their pyramid selection committee who chooses the pyramid level recipients. Regions then select recipients from the group of pyramid recipients who become finalists. These region and also the central office department finalists are who you will see on stage tonight. This evening, we will recognize finalists in 12 different award categories and will name the FCPS Outstanding Employee Recipients for each of these categories. Each of the finalists within a category will be introduced individually, and then the Eddie Award recipient will be announced. The Eddie Award symbolizes the support and inspiration our employees provide to our students, community, communities, and coworkers. This year, FCPS is recognizing over 740 individuals across all the nomination categories. You bring extraordinary pride and positivity to our school division, and we are so happy that we can celebrate your achievements together. Let's get started with our first award presentation. Good evening, I'm Noelle Comenco, the Assistant Superintendent for Instructional Services. Hi there, I'm Elaine Tolan, school board member representing the Drainsville District. We are pleased to be here tonight to honor the finalists and to announce the Outstanding Elementary New Teacher Award recipient. The Outstanding New Teacher Award is given to two new teachers, one at the elementary level and one at the secondary level. These teachers are within their first three years of teaching. And although they're still relatively new to the profession, the educators nominated for this award have demonstrated exceptional performance and extraordinary ability to engage and inspire their students to higher levels of achievement. To start out, we'd like to recognize our school and pyramid recipients for both outstanding elementary and outstanding secondary new teacher. Could those individuals in the audience here tonight please stand? At this time, we would like to invite Dr. Reed to center stage as she will be presenting all awards this evening. We would also like to bring the representative from Cox Business to join Dr. Reed on the stage as they are this year's Outstanding Elementary New Teacher Sponsor. While some new teachers might consider it an accomplishment to simply survive their first years of teaching, our honorees sought to achieve excellence. They may come from different schools and bring different specialties, but they share at least one thing in common, a passion to connect to their students and become great teachers. Let's meet our elementary new teacher finalists. Ella Jean I. Ali. Saratoga Elementary School. Annabelle, Old Creek Elementary School. <laughs> Ashley Elizabeth Schweitzer, North Springfield Elementary School.
Mary Grace Vinal, Laurel Ridge Elementary School. And now, with the 2023 Outstanding Elementary New Teacher, the Eddie goes to Ella Dean Ali. <laughs> Good evening, FCPS. I'm Sloan Presidio, the FCPS Chief Academic Officer, and we're going to continue the awards with our Outstanding Secondary New Teacher Award. Joining us on stage as the sponsor of this award is our representative from RICO. And now, let's meet our Outstanding Secondary New Teacher finalists. Lucy Ann Blazy, South County High School. <laughs> Melvin Birch Bynum, Mount Vernon High School. Ali C. McCool, Falls Church High School. <laughs> Douglas B. Schneider, Oakton High School. Yujiang Julia Shen, Frost Middle School. And now, for the 2023 Outstanding Secondary New Teacher, the Eddie goes to Melvin Birch Bynum. Good evening. Uh, I'm Douglas Tyson, the Assistant Superintendent of Region 1. I'm happy to be here tonight to present the award for this year's Outstanding New Principal. This award recognizes a distinguished educator and extraordinary leader who is within their first three years as a principal. Each new principal here tonight has demonstrated incredible skill and outstanding performance in their work with students, faculty, staff members, parents, and the community. This award is sponsored by Dominion Energy. You're supposed to clap. The first 100 people that clap get a reduction in their energy bill this uh, summer. 
you keep laughing, you better be part of that hundred. At this time, we'd like to recognize the school award recipients for outstanding new principal who are with us in the audience tonight. Could you please stand? Our finalists for this award each have their own unique style, but they share the ability to lead with distinction. Their passion for education is apparent, and their hard work is appreciated by all of us. Let's meet them now. K.J. On, Eagle View Elementary School. Ted Cooper, Fair Hill Elementary School. Samantha Goldstein, Fairview Elementary School. Rashida J. Green, Bucknell Elementary School. Monica Guerrero Verab, Herndon Middle School. that Eddie goes to KJ on! As we move on to our next award, I want to take a moment to recognize the time and commitment it takes to put on a recognition program of this size. FCPS Honors is coordinated and brought to life by FCPS employees committed to highlighting the achievements and hard work of their colleagues. I'm going to ask individuals who have worked behind the scenes to stand and be recognized when their role is announced. Firstly, our award liaisons at each school and in each department who spent countless hours working with nominators to create and submit pack packets. Please stand. <laughs> and in that group, we also have our pyramid lead liaisons who facilitated the next steps of the process. Please stand. We also have the region selection teams who help to shepherd our winners through each stage. Stand, please. The leadership team who spent several days interviewing all of the finalists. Let's give them a hand. And the HR employee programs team that coordinates and supports the process from start to finish. Let's give them a round of applause as well. A tremendous amount of effort goes into ensuring our FCPS Honors event is a special night for our honorees and guests. So I would like to extend a big thank you to the Director of Business Services, Michael Drager, 
and his team and all of the staff and volunteers who have contributed to the success of this evening's program. Let's give them a round of applause. And this brings us to our next award. Good evening, everyone. I am Penny Gross, Assistant Superintendent for Region 4. And I'm Chuck Fanshaw, Interim Assistant Superintendent for Facilities and Transportation. We are thrilled to be here tonight to help recognize our amazing operational staff. The Outstanding Operational Employee Award recognizes employees who have made extraordinary contributions to FCPS. Whether they're ensuring technology systems are operational, providing meals to students, keeping classrooms safe and clean, transporting students to and from school, or assisting administrators, teachers, and community members, the recipients of these awards have gone above and beyond to help make FCPS a place where all students can achieve success. Two Eddie Awards are given in this category, one to a school-based employee and one to a non-school-based employee. We are here to present the category of Outstanding School-Based Operational Employee. Therefore, at this time, we'd like to recognize the school and pyramid recipients for the Outstanding School-Based Operational Employee Award who are here with us in the audience tonight. Would you please stand? Thank you. And now we would like to welcome the representative from award sponsor Guernsey to join us on stage to present this award. Now let's take a look at our finalists for outstanding school-based operational employee. Lindsay Miller, Whitman Middle School. Alexa Pugnetti, Woodson High School. Leonard Roberts, Bull Run Elementary School. Maureen Small, Woodburn Elementary School. Mary Helen Tucker, Wolf Trap Elementary School. And for the 2023 Outstanding School-Based Operational Employee, it's a tie. There are two winners uh, for this year's award, and the first Eddie goes to Alexa Pugnetti. <laughs> And the second Eddie goes to Leonard Roberts.
Good evening. I'm Kathleen Waltz, Executive Director for Professional Learning and Equity. And I am Karen Keyes Gamara, School Board Member at Large. Joining us now at center stage is the representative from award sponsor Cigna. Let's meet our finalists for outstanding non-school based operational employee. Robert Butterfield, Facilities Services. Philippe R. Cloutier, Information Technology. <laughs> Terry Lynn Damon, Instructional Services. Diane M. Hardbauer, Financial Services. <laughs> Tara Petrovic, Chief's Offices. Kapinga Joel Chimuanga, Special Services. Nicole C. Wheeler, Transportation. for the 2023 Outstanding Non-School-Based Operational Employee, the Eddie goes to Nicole Wheeler. And good evening. I'm Marty Smith, Chief Operating Officer for Fairfax County Public Schools. The Outstanding Professional Award recognizes non-instructional employees who have made extraordinary contributions to FCPS through their work in positions such as school counselor, school-based technology specialist, transportation operations manager, budget analyst, and human resources specialist. Eddie Awards are given in two categories for this award, one for a school-based professional employee and one for a non-school-based professional employee. At this time, we'd like to recognize all the outstanding professional school and pyramid re re recipients who are here with us tonight. Would you please stand? <laughs> so let's take a look at our outstanding school-based professional employee finalists. Kelsey Christian, 
Old Creek Elementary School. Tara A. Dutton, Forestville Elementary School. Sarah Espanol, Marshall High School. Caitlin M. Hagen, South County Middle School. Elizabeth Romeo, Lorton Station Elementary School. So the 2023 Outstanding School-Based Professional Employee, the Eddie goes to Caitlin Hagen. <laughs> And now, let's meet the finalists for the 2023 Outstanding Non-School-Based Professional Employee. Sonia Ahmad, Information Technology. Bethany A. Dummers, Special Services. Kendra Dyer, Instructional Services. Claudia Haggerty, Financial Services. Jim Jenkins, Transportation. Kenneth T. Wilson, Facilities. And so the 2023 Outstanding Non-School-Based Professional Employee, the Eddie goes to Ken Wilson.
Hello, I'm Fabio Zuluaga, Assistant Superintendent for Region 2 Schools. And I'm Melanie Marin, School Board Representative representing the Hunter Mill District of Fairfax County. Eddy Awards are given in two categories for this particular award. One for a school-based leader and one for a non-school-based leader. We're excited here tonight to present the award for this year's outstanding school-based leader. But first, we'd like to recognize the school and pyramid recipients for the outstanding leader who are with us tonight. Could you please stand? These individuals are innovators, mentors, and student advocates who build positive relationships, share their expertise, and are passionate about education. As a parent of an elementary school and a middle school student, I can attest that our staff are utmost professionals, amazingly caring and hardworking, and I will continue to spread that truth in our community. Joining us for the presentation of this award is the representative from our sponsor, Inova Health System. Now, let's meet our outstanding school-based leader finalists. Serena Andrea Hiron, Holmes Middle School. Karen J. Hertel. Bryant High School. Kate Kirkland, Mount Eagle Elementary School. John McCann, Katherine Johnson Middle School. Lisa M. O'Donovan, Wolf Trap Elementary School. Ann Wong, Robinson Secondary School. For the two 2023 Outstanding School-Based Leader, the Eddie goes to... Karen Hertel. Good evening. I'm Lee Burden, Assistant Superintendent for Financial Services. And I'm Gautam Sethi, Chief Information Technology Officer. We're here to present the Outstanding Non-School-Based Leader Award today. But before we start, in recognition of all the amazing achievements, under your seats today, you will not find the iPad we had put in a budget request for. <laughs> Somehow it got lost in emails. The sponsor for this award is Milestone Towers. Now let's meet our finalists. 
Michael S. Bloom, Special Services. Amy E. Hunter, Instructional Services. Tracy T. Kubo Carrera, Transportation. James R. McLean, Facilities Services. Lisa Reed, Human Resources. Matthew J. Watson, Information Technology. Alice Wigington, Financial Services. For the 2023 Outstanding Non-School Based Leader Award, the Eddie goes to Alice Wigginton. Good evening. I'm Frances Ivey, Deputy Superintendent. And I'm Marcia Neal, Executive Director in the Office of the Superintendent. The Outstanding Teacher Award is given to two teachers, one at the elementary level and one at the secondary level. These educators are truly extraordinary, both in their dedication to the profession and in their ability to propel students to high levels of success. At this time, we'd like to recognize the school and pyramid recipients for outstanding teacher who are with us tonight. Could you please stand? Tonight's finalists are teachers who have gone above and beyond to show special concern for their students and instill in them a desire to learn and achieve. Each of these teachers shape the future. We commend them for their willingness to assume this huge responsibility of educating our children. We are proud of each and every one of them. Joining us for the presentation of this award is the representative from Apple Federal Credit Union, who is sponsoring the Outstanding Teacher Awards again this year.
Now let's take a look at the finalist for the Outstanding Elementary Teacher Award. Kristen Segley, Coates Elementary School. Christine Shaw, Sleepy Hollow Elementary School. Maritza Lugo Franqui, Groveton Elementary School. Maureen E. Merrow, Hutchison Elementary School. Laura Centuria, Colin Powell Elementary School. The 2023 Outstanding Elementary Teacher, the Eddie goes to Laura Centuria. <laughs> Good evening, I am Becky Bainig, Assistant Superintendent of Region 5. And I'm Michelle Boyd, Assistant Superintendent for Special Services. We're going to be announcing the award for Outstanding Secondary Teacher. We'll ask the representative for Apple Federal Credit Union to remain on the stage as Apple is sponsoring both the Outstanding Teacher Awards. Now let's meet our outstanding secondary teacher finalists. Brooke Marie Laporta, Bryant High School. <laughs> Daniel J. Miller. Fairfax High School. <laughs> Shaney R. Mosher, Madison High School. Christina Procaccino, Edison High School. Annie Ray, Annandale High School.
Gail Thayer, Liberty Middle School. And we have another tie. For the first 2023 Outstanding Teacher, the first Eddie goes to Mr. Daniel Miller. And the second Eddie goes to Annie Ray. Good evening, I'm Nardis King, Interim Chief Equity Officer. And I'm Rachna Sizemore Heiser, School Board Chair and Member at Large. We are delighted to be able to present the final award this evening, the Outstanding Principal Award. This award recognizes, recognizes an extraordinary educator whose vision and leadership guides their schools to excellence. At this time, we'd like to recognize the school award recipients for Outstanding Principal who are with us in the audience tonight. Could you please stand? Tonight's finalists aren't just keeping up with accelerating changes of the profession. They are several steps ahead, creating innovative solutions, generating positive energy, and inspiring their peers. They gracefully and eagerly embrace the myriad of responsibilities that come with running a school and addressing parent and community concerns, all while centering the students. We are so thankful for all that they do. Now, let's meet our 2023 finalists for Outstanding Principal. Sarah C. Aiello, Hutchison Elementary School. April Cage, Garfield Elementary School. Sharon Prindle, Wakefield Forest Elementary School. Ellen T. Riley, McLean High School. Pamela M. Simpkins, Silverbrook Elementary School. For the 2023 Outstanding Principal, the Eddie goes to. That was our joke that for the night. The yes, night. right. That's all we have. <laughs> April Kay! 
Congratulations once again to all of our honorees. Let's give them one last round of applause. Thank you to our sponsors who made this evening possible. And thanks to all of you for joining us this evening to celebrate. Good night.